Blender's primitives suck when it comes to sub-D modeling. They come with terrible topology and are completely useless in some cases, but not only that, they are missing basic objects like the pipe, pyramid, helix, and more that other packages offer, namely Maya. Now let's take a closer look at why these suck, and be sure to stick around till the end because I'll be providing a solution for the same. In the past, I've already dealt with and addressed why the cone and the UV sphere are terrible options for sub D modeling. That was more than three years ago now, and Blender 4 still doesn't have decent primitives to work with. In short, the cone has a ridiculous number of edges radiating from its apex, and the UV sphere has the same problem at its extremes. If you want a more in depth explanation and a solution, check out my video Stop Using Cones and Why Poles Are Bad. Moving on to the icosphere, when we throw a subsurf modifier over this, we end up with a very lumpy surface, and that disqualifies it as a candidate for a decent sphere. Smoothing it out with a subdivision operator is not a viable solution due to the unreasonable increase in mesh density. Let's not forget it's completely composed of triangles. The cylinder is okay, but needs a little tweaking to make it ideal, in my opinion. That is, the caps need to be converted to quads. That leaves us with a torus, circle, and cube, which are the only decent ones. The pipe, helix, and pyramid are still missing as mentioned before. So in the interest of saving you some time, I've gone ahead and created an asset library full of sub-D friendly primitives that you can use for your projects. It includes the missing primitives and much more. You can find the download link in the description of this video. If you are new to subdivision modeling and the concept of topology seems alien to you, I've got dozens of videos on the topic on my channel. And that brings us to the end of this video. Thanks for watching and I will talk to you in the next one.